of, well, so near but so far this week, the Azores High, which could influence our weather, just sat a little too far west. Instead, we're in northwesterly winds for much of the week, quite strong and quite chilly for a time. And these low pressures here are more likely to influence our weather by the end of the weekend, even introducing a northerly airstream. Really quite a chilly feel. Not too dissimilar to what's happening at the moment. In fact, we had quite a wet start in southern parts this morning. That rain's moved on into Rotterdam. In fact, here it's been a wet 36 hours. Let me show you that on the satellite picture. Here comes that cloud, those storms that moved southwards into Belgium this morning, all making their way gradually eastwards. Quite an unsettled picture across many of the lowlands of Europe at the moment. And that rain is set to move southwards perhaps into Rome and Geneva as well. For the north, a drier interlude through Wednesday and Thursday, perhaps dry for the Welsh match against Norway in Oslo, even for the Scottish match against Belgium in Brussels. And we've got quite a lot of dry weather on the satellite picture at the moment, but we do have increasing amounts of cloud, as you can see. And down the east coast in particular, through Lincolnshire, Suffolk and Norfolk, we are expecting a fair peppering of showers, so always rather cloudy and windy here. The best of the sunshine further south and west, but all the time not wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, even though it will feel fairly pleasant at 20 degrees, say, in Cardiff, compared with quite a chilly and strong breeze. So quite a chilly feel down the east coast. Now the winds do ease off a little tonight and it's going to be a chilly night for many parts of England and Wales, eastern Scotland too. But the temperatures held up somewhat further west ahead of our next batch of rain coming into northern and western parts of the UK by the end of the night. A little bit of mist first thing down in the south. But once that rain starts to trickle its way southwards, I think a brighter afternoon for Scotland, some sunshine. And staying mostly dry, much cloudy though across southern England and south Wales. But in central parts, that weather front will be wriggling around. We could see a further pulse of rain coming back into Northern Ireland, say, through the course of the afternoon into the evening. Perhaps some rain for Northern Ireland's match against Iceland. But it looks like there's a sporting chance that for England and Albania, we should escape the worst of the rain. Now, come Thursday, that weather front will be clearing to the south, but it could take its time to clear from southern parts of England and South Wales. Some heavier bursts around and more rain will come back into the northwest highlands and northern Scotland later, but a lot of dry weather around. But then we do see rather more cloud rolling into northern and western areas on Friday and pushing further southwards and eastwards on Saturday. So it's looking much more unsettled and quite windy still to end the week. Anna, back